hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not launching on your windows computer now the first step is to restart your computer simply restart your computer once and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check if that does not work close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner running or river tuner running you can close it so if you have msi afterburner running you can make a right click close it if you have river tuner running you can make a right click and then close it also close all other overclocking applications. So if you have any other overclocking application, you can close it and then launch the game. Next step is to start anti-cheat expert service. Now for this type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find anti-cheat expert service, make a double click and then you can set it to auto, uh, manual. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Also make sure that anti-cheat expert protection is also set to manual. Now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to, now if you're using any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings and then go to privacy and security in case of Windows 11. In Windows 10, click on update and security and then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection, click on it. Now click on allow an app through controlled folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app. Now click on browse all apps, go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, in my case, it's in this location. So go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Open the game folder, select this exe file, click on open. Again, click on add and load app, browse all apps, open Delta Force, binaries, Win64. Select this exe file, click on open. And then click on add and load app. So add all the exe file, go back and then open the launcher folder, add all these exe files. So add all the exe files and then launch the game. Do the same thing in the control panel. So open control panel, go to system and security, and then Windows Defender Firewall, and then click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings at the top, click on allow another app, click on browse, and then go to the game installation folder, open the game folder, and then select all the exe file click on open click on add again click on allow another app click on browse and then open delta force binaries win64 and then select this exe file click on open and then click on add once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check next step is to uninstall anti-cheat expert and then start the game so you can Go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select Manage, now click on Browse Local Files, and then open the game folder, Delta Force, Binaries, and then open, sorry, go back, open Win64, and then open Anti Cheat Expert, and here you can see Ace Setup 64, make a double click, click on Yes to allow, and here you can see this will uninstall Anti Cheat Expert. So do not uninstall on game running, make sure game is closed and then you can click on yes and then click on uninstall completed, click on it. Okay, and then now you can launch the game. And this time when you launch the game, during the launch, it will install anti-cheat experts. So you can click on launch over here. Now click on launch, click on yes, and during startup, it will actually install anti check expert. So over here you can see it's installing anti check expert. Now you can launch the game and then check. Now still not working. The next step is to verify the game files. To verify the game files, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on 
verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete you can launch the game and then check next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest geforce game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings now click on add desktop app and then you can go to the game installation folder open the game folder open game select delta, open delta force binaries win64 select the exe file click on add once the game is added over here now you can select click on let's window this side and select high performance and you can see your graphic card now you can launch the game and then check next step is to install visual c plus plus file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. Download x86 and x64. So download this x86 file. Run this exe file. Click on repair. If you see repair, click on repair. If you see install, click on install. Click on yes to allow. And download this x64 file as well. Again, run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. And let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Once installed, restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. After the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to update your Windows to the latest version. For this, open Windows settings. Go to Windows Update or Update and Security and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte 
now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 49151521 49151521 now click on set over here then click on okay okay apply okay Okay, now restart computer. Make sure that you restart the computer after this. Now the next step is to unplug all the external devices. So if you have hotas, pedals, wheels, or any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. If you have additional controller connected, disconnect it. Like if you have controller connected or joystick connected, you can disconnect it. disable overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to general tab let me remove this go to the general tab and turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game turn it off and then check also close all the overlay application like other overlay application like if you have discord running you can go to discord settings and turn off overlay you can go to ge force experience settings and turn off in game overlay so close all the overlay application and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so if nothing is working you can go to steam make a right click on the game select manage click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder and delete the game folder and then install the game to c drive so suppose if the game is installed to your external drive like d drive or f drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel